Hello, and welcome back to Solid Print with me, Ben Kieser. Today, we are defusing the situation with the all new Formlabs Fuse OnePlus 30 watts. Well, the first thing we've got to unbox, and I will not stand for this, I'll crouch instead, is the stand. Luckily, we've got a bit of a blue Peter moment on at the moment. So here's one we made earlier. Okay, so what comes in the box? Well, we've got a couple of bits and bobs. First and foremost, we have our finishing kits here. Uh, just basically helping to keep everything tidy, keep everything nice and clean. Uh, there's a couple of brushes in there, some swabs, etc. So I'll show you this in a bit more detail later on. We also have our optical cassette. Now this is a highly delicate bit of glass which the laser actually travels through. This is actually going to be installed into the printer which I'll show you once we actually do get into that. We've also got a couple of lifting straps to help lift the printer into place, so we'll need a friend for that. Got a couple of oven gloves so we can do our nice cooking when we get home tonight. Also, we can take the build chamber out whilst it's still a bit warm. And then we've got a couple of other bits of accessories. So our little spanner here, that's to make sure the printer is level. Our Wi-Fi antenna and this little gadget, which is actually for just the OnePlus. This is to help put the nitrogen in place if we were to print with carbon fiber. And then finally, we've got cables galore at the back here, so we can take it on holiday with us if we want to go abroad. So we've got it all set up now and we've actually put on our first print, so we're ready to take that to the post-processing sift station. But before we do that, I do want to talk you through a little bit about the new steps that the Fuse One Plus offers compared to the Fuse One itself. They're basically very similar machines. This is a slight upgrade. The Fuse One in of itself and the Fuse One ecosystem offers a selective laser sintering style of printing by which it takes powder and literally layers it down and selects an area of that power to actually build up your physical model. Really intelligent process. I love it. The one thing I especially love about it is in fact, it's all self-supporting. So all of the powder that's inside there or just holds everything in, so you don't need to worry about knocking off any support materials afterwards. You don't need to worry about support scarring. It's all enclosed and very nice looking when it comes out. And in fact, Formlabs actually go one step further by which they create this kind of onion skinning effect around the outside of the parts, where they semi sinter the powder around the edges and therefore giving it a slightly harder crust which is then just brushed off and recycled back into the system afterwards. But what that does mean is that hardened crust allows for less warping or no warping at all, I should say, at all within the system itself. So the Fuse One Plus 30 watts, as its name suggests, actually has a 30 watt laser inside it. What this means is it can print a lot, lot faster. In fact, as a rough estimate, it can do the same part that I could have put on the Fuse One. It can do that in about two thirds of the time or a half of the time, depending on the packing density. We've got a part in here now, which I'm very excited to extract and to see how it works. And that's taken, I think it was about two and a half hours when we set it up on Preform. Whereas when it was on the Fuse One, that would have taken about a three and a quarter, three and a half hours to do. The other awesome feature about the brand new machine is actually to do with the powder. We can still print nylon 12, nylon 12 glass filled, and of course, nylon 11 on this machine, but the Fuse One Plus allows for a fourth material, and that is nylon 11 carbon fiber. I'm very excited to try out this material. It's incredibly strong, incredibly durable, and I'm just looking forward to seeing what we can create and what you guys can create as well. So let us know in the comments if you've done anything really awesome with this material. We can't print it on the Fuse One because there are actually a couple more steps involved with the printer itself. So for instance, if we have a look at the hopper, not only is the hopper a lot larger, but it also has a little mixer at the bottom, which just churns and makes sure that the carbon fiber and the nylon 11 
are nicely mixed together as it's printing as well. Make sure there's no separation in there. To help with the printing process as well, the Fuse One Plus comes with an air supply. It allows an inert gas to be cycled around the machine and that inert gas is nitrogen. There's a little entry point at the back and we can actually control the flow of inert gas through this little knob just at the top here. Other than that, it's basically the same old reliable Formlabs machine. There's a couple of other hidden features which I'll let you find out for yourselves what they are. But over to someone now to talk about the post-processing station and he may or may not be wearing the same t-shirt depending on whether we film this over two days, but here's past Ben. Thank you, future Ben. And might I just say congratulations on that fine Oscar that Formlabs have given you. Hi, Mark. So let's talk now a bit about the big brother of the Fuse One Plus 30 Watts. The shady, you might say it's slightly sifty looking post-processing station. We've got the Fuse Sift. Let's get it unboxed and then I'll talk to you a bit about what the, uh, what the sift does. Now it's a fairly chonky machine, you might have seen that, so we're definitely gonna need two people and a couple of lifting straps. Speaking of strapping, here's Elliot to help me with the unboxing. The Fuse Sift itself has remained largely unchanged. And the reason for this is because, well, it doesn't really need to change. The only difference is the actual sieve itself. The sieve to accommodate for the new material will actually be a larger mesh, so therefore those carbon fibre parts can actually fall through it. But for the standard sieve itself, which is ju just located underneath here, it will take all of the other materials. So at the moment, nylon 12, nylon 11 and nylon 12 glass filled as well. What I really love about the Sift is that because the powder is 100% recycled, it's minimal waste with maximum output. And that's brilliant because it basically means that there's no waste whatsoever in any of the system. We can reuse all of the powder, providing we stack it correctly and we're a bit clever with our designs. And the process itself is just very smooth, very sleek, completely circular. And therefore, you know, it's just a really nice little machine. I'll take you a bit through it now if you haven't seen one already. The Fuse Sift comes with everything you need to get started, including tools to help take it off the pallet as well. But the tools that you get given with it are various brushes. So we've got this big chunky brush here, that's to get the most of your powder off. And then you've got slightly finer brushes as well to help get rid of the finer details and even tube brushes to get into small crevices there as well. We've also got a couple of vacuum accessories, which just help to keep the Sift itself quite nice and clean. You'll notice when we turn it on, there is a negative air pressure, so any powder doesn't come out of the machine, it all goes back into this HEPA filter. And then at the end of your sifting session, that just gets cleaned out nicely as well. The parts are raised up from the build chamber and we can just move the parts straight over and we can start sifting them here with the sieve turned on as well to shake all the loose powder down so we can recycle it 100%. There is also a vacuum cleaner on the side here. This is just to help keep the station nice and clean and make sure that there's no powder anywhere that there shouldn't be. There's a vacuum accessory inside as well. And this is for any internal use because the last thing we want is media from the outside actually going into the sift and contaminating the powder. The powder itself actually gets sieved down and then mixed with some fresh powder. Once it's been mixed inside the powder cartridges, these then go onto the side and are mixed a bit further by this tumbling motion. And that's then good to be put straight into the fuse, ready for the next use. Thank you so much for watching today. It's been a great delight to be able to actually unbox and play around with the new Fuse One Plus 30 watts and the Fuse Sift as well. What parts do you guys think that you might be putting on the printer? And do you have any parts that may need the new Nylon 11 carbon fiber? If you do, comment below, we'd love to know, and we'd love to help you find the right printer for you as well. If you have any questions, then please do feel free to phone us on 01926 333777 or alternatively you can email info at solidprint3d.co.uk and as ever I hope you don't just have a good day have a solid day happy printing